It's me. No! Oh, God. Wait. Don't close the door. Please. I know I'm the last person you want to see right now. But I really, really need to talk to you. Please. I'm completely serious. Okay, look. I'll say what I need to say. And after that, if you want to get out of here, if you want me to get out of here and pretend I don't know you, that's what I'll do. I promise. Please, it's raining. I'm soaked. And I came all the way here just so I could talk to you. And I can't leave until I explain to you why I broke up with you so abruptly. <sighs> well, if you don't want to let me in, I'll just wait here by the door till you feel ready to let me in. I'll probably get hypothermia and die. But whatever. I'll wait here. In the cruel Cold, heavy rain. Alone. I feel a cop coming in. Ah! Thank you. Then, um, excuse me. Uh, can you give me a towel? I don't want to wet your floor. Okay, thank- Ugh! You need to throw it at my face. But thank you, though. Um, can I sit? Yeah, I figured you would have let me sit on your couch. Alright, it's alright. I can do this standing up. Okay. Right. Ooh, okay. First of all, I'm sorry for coming here like this. I know I don't have the right after what I've done, but I really need to tell you something. And I'm sorry, so sorry, I said all that about being cold and being so and getting hypothermia, dying. I didn't want to make you feel like you had to let me in. Please don't kick me. I just said all that because I was trying to be funny and... Right, right, okay. Straight to business, I see. Okay, I can do that. Okay. I can do that. I forgot my yarding. So, I came here today because I want to ex explain exactly why I broke up with you like that. And I also want to apologize for it, for hurting you. Do you remember that night everything happened? Yes, we were at the party and everything was great. It was the first time I sent, I went to that party after a very long time. I was surprised with how much fun I was having. I got out of the dance floor and I went looking for you. And I, I saw you talking with a guy, a tall, muscular, handsome guy. We weren't touching him or even smiling at him, but I just felt so jealous so insecure and pathetic all of a sudden I had to really control myself not to go over there and start screaming at both of you after that I went straight home packed my things and I left I left you and I broke things off by text and I blocked you and I'm so sorry I did that I have no excuse. What I did was irresponsible, immature, and downright cruel. I know I inflicted a lot of pain on you because of what I did. And after I came to my senses, I regretted it so, so much. Hey, hey, no, it's not your fault. It's, it's my fault, I swear. Please, don't cry. I hate to see you cry. 
I hate even more that I'm the one who made you cry. I hate myself for what I did to you. Everything that's happening right now, it's on me. I'm responsible for your pain. And I'm for my own pain. I came here because I want you to know that you didn't do anything wrong. You're not the reason I broke us up. I am the reason. I have problems. Do you remember when I told you that things ended badly with my ex? At the time, I didn't give you any more details, but I broke up with her because she was cheating on me. I caught him in the act at a party. The guy she was cheating on me with was a tall, muscular, and very handsome guy. Just like the guy you were talking with that night. That guy looked at so much like the one my ex was with. That I panicked. I decided to run away instead of talking to you and getting things clear. So many terrible feelings and thoughts came rushing down on me. I just felt so overwhelmed by them that I had to get away from that scene. From you. By doing that, I hurt you. I'm so sorry for breaking your heart like that. We didn't deserve this. I know, I believe you. I know you weren't cheating on me with that guy. And I know you were just talking, but at that time in my mind, I couldn't process that. I'm really sorry for what I put you through. To be honest, I had to prepare myself a lot to come back to talk to you. I was really scared to see you again, to see the hate the sadness in your beautiful eyes all caused by me. But I wanted to do things the right way and be respons responsible for my actions. So here I am. Yeah, yes, I know I should have talked to you that night. I just, I could not bear the thought of you doing something like that to me. So I avoided you. I know. I know you would never do something like that. I know you are completely different from my ex. I know all of that. You never gave me reasons to be suspicious of you. I got paranoid all on my own because of what happened in my past relationship. I look back at what I did to you and I feel so much hatred towards myself. If I could go back in time in the past, I would punch myself in the face, I swear. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'm being serious. <laughs> hey, if you're laughing right now, does that mean you forgive me? Yes. Yes, I understand, of course. You're still angry about what I did. I just thought, thought that maybe we could start again. You're afraid I'll hurt you again. Oh my God, what did I do? Oh my God, what did I do? Okay, uh, fuck, fuck man, come on. We were so, this is bullshit, this is bullshit. I was so scared of being hurt like that in the past that I caused that same feeling. I did that to you, exactly what I was afraid of happening to me. I am so sorry, I, I can't believe I left you scared like this. I knew I made a big mistake, but I didn't realize how big it really was. God, I can't believe this. I'm the worst. Maybe I am even worse than my ex. I did something terrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, please forgive me.
No, I don't disagree. Comfort. I'm the one who should be comforting you right now. You didn't do anything wrong. And I caused you so much pain. Only now, I am seeing that I did will mark you for a long time. Even the rest of your life, it will affect your trust in other people. Your future relationships. I think I ruined everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fact that I've gone through some emotional trauma is not an excuse to do the same to you. Please, don't try to defend me. Don't make excuses for me. I don't deserve it. I see now that we shouldn't get back together. We're both hurt. We need time to heal. And maybe we'll heal better if we're away from each other. I... I should get going now. I said all I wanted to say. I realized how big a mistake I really did. I will keep my promise to you. I will act like we don't know each other. I have to. I'm so ashamed of myself. I can't even look you at your face. Please, let me go. You forgive me? Really? But you, you don't need to. I understand. If you don't forgive me, I don't think I really deserve it. I, I see. You're right. Forgiveness is an important step to healing. Therapy? No, I never thought about it. But maybe I should have had. Hmm. This wouldn't be happening right now if I seek to help before entering another relationship, to be honest. I would never damage you like this if I seek therapy. Yes, I'll do it. I don't want to risk hurting another, another person again. My family, friends, most importantly, you. I'm finally doing the right thing. I ask for professional help. Yes, <laughs> another important step of healing is asking for help. Together? You really want to go together to therapy? Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Does that mean that you want to give our relationship another chance? Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you. Really. But I feel like I don't deserve it. What if your fear becomes true? What if I hurt you again? No. Of course I don't want to. I only want the best for you. I promise. Yes. Yes, let's work together on that. Let's do our best in this relationship. I'll do my best to only bring you happiness. Be more communicative, to be more trusting. I'll give you all I have, my love. Thank you. Thank you so much for this chance to make things right. I love you so much. Can I kiss you? God, I missed you so much. How could I ever let you go? I'm so stupid. My love, I'm so sorry. I know, I know, but 
I'm still sorry. I'll be better. We'll be better. <laughs> yes, together. Everything's gonna be okay now. I love you, my darling. I truly, truly love you.